<laughs> Let's hold on, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. Now, take a look on your right. This is, this is a teaching hospital. It's known as 37 Hospital. 37 Hospital. Now, <clears throat> 37 Hospital, uh, Ghana fought alongside the British during the Second World War. And the war casualties, the soldiers, the, the British built a sick bay here. And then after that, it was turned to a clinic that takes care of the soldiers, the casualties. But later on, when we had independence, Kwame Nkrumah made it public. Although it takes care of the soldiers, their families, but the public can also attend a, 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 a hospital there. And then um, about nine years ago, nine years ago, it was turned to a teaching hospital. The name 37 came as a result of the 37th sick bay that was built by the British around the world. So Ghana's own was the 37th, hence the name 37 hospital. It's a military hospital. Get your cameras ready. Very soon you're going to see Ghana's, let me call it Ghana's White House, but ours is not painted white. So it's not White House. We call it Jubilee House. Jubilee House. Now that is the one on your right. And this is our president's office. The president's, this is his office. <coughs> Formerly, the president works at the castle, yes. Is it uh, the president of Accra or of Ghana? He is the president of the whole nation, Ghana. Okay. We went through electoral process to select presidents and then parliamentarians and uh, on the 4th of uh, 7th of next month 7th of january there's going to be an inauguration is it big it's a very huge thing very huge thing it's going to be done at a place that we'll also see we'll also see that area at the independence square my understanding that that's the second largest square in the world you are right after uh, Tiananmen Square of China yeah the Tiananmen Square of China is the largest square in the world and then the Black Star Square is the largest open square second largest open square in the world yes uh, when we get there I'll talk about that that place yeah. <clears throat> the edifice that you see on the left those buildings that you see on the left are for the security services they are just behind you. Uh, those story buildings, they are for the security services. They live there all the They time. live there with their family. Yeah, some of them are soldiers, some of them are police officers, some of them are custom officers. Yeah. Is the police officer a good job here? Come again. Is a, being a police officer a good job? Here? Being a police officer, is it a good job? In Ghana, I will say yes. Yes, because all the security services, it is not only police, all the security services, um, you've been trained or you'll be trained as a professional officer, as a professional officer. So you come out as a professional officer, they advertise and then you apply and then when you are selected you go through training for eight months uh sometimes six months sometimes uh 16 months it depends on the uh, category that they are looking for yeah if there's any vacant they advertise and people apply then you'll be you go through a training for either six eight one year or twelve uh two, 18 months or 18 months yeah one and a half years yeah or uh, if it is a recruit it's either six or eight months and if it is a cadet uh cadet because you go through training 
uh, those who have the degrees and masters, yes, they have a different level. We call them offices. Those are offices. And then uh, those who don't have, they have the, uh, yes. What building is that? Thank you, that's the moments. Thank you. Yeah. So you go through that and then uh, you come out as an lieutenant or you go through the junior rank and you come out as a private. You go in a general and you come out a private, you say you No, no, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the security service. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? So is there a lot of Mormons here? <laughs> oh, a handful of them. A handful of them. Okay. Yeah, a handful of them. They know that they didn't used to let us into their church until 1987. Oh, wow. That well, is, it is, it is a, a place that if you are not a member of them, you will not be allowed to enter. Oh, okay. There was a time I was conducting a tour. Someone asked me, what is in there? Do you know what is in there? I said, no. He said, have you been there? I said, no. You, they will not allow you to go in. Even, wow. even the members, there are certain places you will not be allowed to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is the that is them. Now we are at a place called Rich. Rich, yeah. This area, it's a place where, in the olden days, when the British were here, they were living ar around this area. Master Bojo, you can't go around. Why? Let let me sit and then. Okay, now take a look on your uh, on your left. On your left, the guy is going to slow down. Yeah. And then take a look on your right. On your right, you see the cemetery over there. Yeah. That's a, that place is known as AU, African Union Runabout. African Union Runabout. This was built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It was designed and built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The whole idea is that any African country that gains independence, um, in the African country that gains independence, Kwame Nkrumah, there's a big, 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 big celebration. And uh, Kwame Nkrumah comes and um, hosts that country's flag on that cemetery, the one coming on your right. So you can see a lot of uh, coat of arms. Uh, most of the African countries' coat of arms are still there. When Kwame Nkrumah was alive, he put it there and it's still there. Still, this area is called AU Runabout or AU Circle. Yeah. Look, we gotta get at this Building coming up on your right. This is the World Trade Center here in Ghana. It will interest you to know that most of the African countries also come here to do business, especially with West Africa countries. They come here to do business. There's an edifice also coming up on your left, known as National Theater. As the name implies, all that happens there is theater, music, arts, and all those things. This is where one of the places that they had the dome. This was built in 1991, and the government of Ghana uses Chinese prisoners. At that time, we had a good collaboration with Chinese. So the Chinese government allowed prisoners to come here and build free of charge. 
and some Ghanaian prisoners also sometimes also travel there to go and do some uh, uh, work there and come back. That burden on the on your right, that tall burden over there, or let me say, uh, 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 I don't know the color, but building over there, that is Moving Peak Hotel. Moving Peak, that is a five star hotel. Five star hotel. Just after Moving Peak, we also have a city hotel. City hotel. Yeah, Accra City Hotel. You know, that's formerly Novotel, right? Formerly Novotel. Thank you, bro. I realized one year I came and that it was like, that was an overtow. Yeah, yeah. just switched. That's how Ghanaian bought it out. Yeah. It's real. Oh, you stayed at the moment pick last time? Yes. You, you live that luxurious life. Oh. I do, I try it's, to. It's, it's I'm it's the master of my life. Yeah, if we stayed at the moment pick, we'd have to do seven days now. <laughs> master of my life. Okay, there is a gentleman. We are driving to Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum. Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum. <laughs> 